Hello, welcome back. We're on another ride this morning. We're going to go out. And it's snowing. Alright, I got a question for you. How do you guys like this weather? In my area, last week, it was up to like 65 degrees. This week, we had snow on a Tuesday. And then next week, we're going to be up in the 50s again. So, how do you guys like this change of weather? We get hot, cold, hot, cold. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Also, we had uh, Ice Fest up here where they take blocks of ice and they chip it and they uh, chip them to make them like statues and stuff and they display them out and we they do this every year in our town. It's pretty neat that they do it but for some reason they seem to always pick a, a week weekend that they do it seems to be the hot day. The la or this year it was the hottest day to the point where they wouldn't even put out the little statues until like 1 p.m. during the day because they wanted it to last through the night. And they were pretty much gone on Sunday. So, and then the weekend, be uh, the year before that, they lasted uh, maybe a day, maybe a day and a half, because that that weekend was the hot weekend. We can walk around almost in shorts. So it's kind of weird this way the weather is going on. I just wish it would decide what it wants to do and just do it. I don't mind the cold weather but I can't deal with this cold warm cold warm situation. I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? Okay, this morning <laughs> Hello This morning now like seven o'clock in the morning and it is snowing pretty good here uh we're gonna go down and see if we can get some uh walmart spark orders see how this goes roads aren't too bad right now but it's supposed to snow good until like one o'clock I think is when the weather warning is supposed to let off and today it's scheduled supposed to be from four to eight feet I think is what it's scheduled maybe it's three to five three to five in our area so we're gonna go out and we're gonna see what the weather is going to be I would assume the interstates are probably clear these roads are somewhat clear so we're gonna go out and see what's going on hopefully we get some orders I gotta now turn on everything uh, let's see not in the area here oh there's a truck on the side of the road or oh, a van on the side of the road all right let me turn that on and now I'm gonna turn the Walmart on turn on roadie I like turning roadie on I don't get a lot on roadie but it makes sense oh tracking trailer why is he going down this road let's open up Walmart and see what Walmart's got going here I'm gonna go ahead and open it up uh, we're gonna do till 11 <coughs> guys still with me I'll show you guys footage from the dash cam uh, Walmart still hasn't did its update yet uh, what I'm 
going to do is head on over to Walmart and we'll pick up loads once I get to Walmart. So I'll see you guys when we get to Walmart unless something comes up. This stuff is wet. It's going to end up being rain here as soon as the weather heats up a little bit more. It's going to end up being nothing but rain. Well, next week it's supposed to be up in the 50s. 50 degrees and higher. <sighs> this weather doesn't know what it wants to do. And last week we were up in the... We were... Weather was like 60 some. But it felt like 77. And then this week... And that was just Saturday. Alright, alright. We got an offer. Let's see, Walmart, three, uh, $38 for three drop-offs, apartment, uh, six miles, let's see if there's any big, there's a large order, uh, large order, 34, what's large, is it just water, is that what we consider water, there's one soda, a couple big stuff, a couple big stuff, not really that much stuff so i'm gonna take that let's accept that there's two apartments i'm gonna take it that's two apartments so let's go ahead and take this first order and it's 38.52 be the first order so the order doesn't go in until 7.45, so I got like 24 minutes to get to Walmart, clean off my truck, <clears throat> get my truck situated. This road, these roads are not bad. I got two apartment buildings, I don't know, we'll have to see how, one's large, one's small. If I had to carry stuff, even the large one is like 38 items, which may be a little bit heavier, but we'll see how it goes. Let's, let's see what it's got. Uh, okay, we already picked up our first order from Walmart, and we're now closer to dropping it off. When we get there, I will let you know. It's this one. All right, so start. Yes, I'm at the house, drop off notes. There is no drop off notes. And we scan, boom. Drop off location, front door. We take appropriate pictures. Uh, this one's a small order. Why is this bag in there upside down? I don't know. And then we got this one. Stay there. 79. I don't know where the sidewalk is. Let's put it right there. I'll put this bag right there. And we'll take a picture. Alright, what happened to it? Take a photo. Boom. Okay. Okay, so you got three boxes.
I have your groceries from Walmart. No, I got the th two more other bins. Have a good evening. Thank you. Yeah, it's not that bad out there. It's getting slushy now. I think that's about all the snow we're going to get. All right, we are on our third drop off, which says it's an apartment it's on orchard drive so i don't remember i don't know if it's the new apartments or not i don't see anything else written here we're gonna make a right here turn right on progress road Let's see where we are and it says 202 I don't know where. I'm gonna put it all in one bag. Bottle. It says 202.
as you can see the interstates are fairly clear there's really not any snow whatsoever it just looked like it's rained oh well off to Walmart Adams somebody hit the mailbox You can navigate or walk or drop off. Okay, so Wheeler, I'm there. What am I? I'm looking under Adams. There's Adams. Okay, this one's Adams and that one's Adams. All right. So yes, I'm here. Drop off. No item, there's nothing. Scan item. Uh, customer signature. Oh, that's great. Let me get this up to the box. I'm hoping this is the Guess I don't have to get Thank you. Have a good day. Can you complete? All right. That one. We'll put that one right there for now. We'll stick that one up there. Let's go get the other one. All right, so I need to find 442, 442, 481, so 442. You've arrived at your destination. Oh. 
Okay, the Walmart has Spark has uh, tied up. The only thing I'm getting now is ASAPs from um, Shippensburg, which is a long ways away from here. Probably like 20 minutes, somewhere in there, 20, 30 minutes away from here. So it is in our in my market, but. I'm not going all the way up there so I have now turned over and I'm doing DoorDash I will keep an eye on Walmart to see if anything pops up to Walmart more but they don't have many orders anymore and there was only like three people like two or three people running those orders anyway so they don't have a lot uh, right now I'm doing right now I turned on DoorDash and we are going to go do DoorDashing and I am doing pay by time and and today they're running some kind of incentive of some sort and it's 1850 they're doing 1850 an hour active hour that is so I'm gonna run over here and run in grab my order and we'll do it that way see what I can make doing that let's go in here and get this order Thank you. All right. That took a long while. Twenty seven dollars and seventeen cent order. How much tip do you think they're going to give me? I'm wondering where it even is. All right. Oh, I got it. What was it? Hand to me? Leave at my door. Crap. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh. Okay. Here my thing. All right, I got six dollars on that. 